Old High German Syntax Instrumental Case The instrumental has to do with the material, the means, or if you will, the way, or if you will, the manner, an instrument of how something is done. So it's, so it's almost like saying with or by, or in, or through that means, or through that material, or through that manner, or by this instrument, or with that instrument, in that instrument, if you will, or in that manner, in that means. So that's really what the instrumental is. In, in, in a nutshell, that's what it is. But the thing is, it's, it's one thing to say, uh, theoretically understand this. Okay, I, I understand what you, what you mean, Kevin, but, it's, but to see it in practice is something else. The instrumental can look like the dative. However, in many cases, it does look the dative because the instrumental over time merged into the dative, uh, which is why today in German you don't have the instrumental. It's, you know, you only have uh, four cases, right? You just have the dative. Because what happened was the, in the instrumental merged into the dative, and this, the same thing happened with Old English. I mean, the, in Old English there is the dative, but it's... It, it, it's you can tell already, even in that time, in that language, um, the data was, uh, sorry, the instrumental was merging with, with the data and the same thing was happening with, with the old high German uh, dialects and whatnot. So, moving on. So, here is our first example. We have Gesach, Glidu, Ant Luzio. Gesach, Glidu, Ant Luzio. Alright, so he saw with what? It, what the means he did this? Well, he did it with a, uh, so to speak, a gentle face. So what is in the instrumental here? It is blidu ant uh, lutziu. Yeah. Yeah. So the origin actually of an, ant uh, lutziu is actually uh, the origin of the word uh, in today's German. Um, antlitz. Yeah, antlitz, which means like... I believe it's another way of saying form or face or if you will. But anyway, I, I could be wrong about the about the later meaning. But anyway, but yeah. So this is gesach blidu antlutziu, meaning uh, he saw with a, or yeah, he saw with a gentle face. Moving on. So here is our second example of gestada lota strangem machtin tin machtin. And this is a translation uh, from Old English, by the way. So this is a straight translation. So that's why you have that little asterisk there for reconstruction. So, uh, you know, I like to th uh, have things uh, word per word, straight translation. But anyway, so he founded, as in like he started something. He founded um, uh, with, so to speak, with strong powers. So what's in the uh, instrumental um, but though, you know, but kind of merge with the dative. Well, it would be strangem machtim. Yeah. Well, they're, they're both in the, uh, they're both in the, in, in the dative. Uh, they're both in the plural dative. However, but it's used instrumentally here. You know, that's, that's the thing with this uh, time, you know, because the instrumental and dative, you know, the, the well, the data became it be merged into the dative, so like you get the data of acting like a instrumental. But anyway, but moving on. So here is our third example of gefastota, folmom, gefastota, folmom. So he fasted, as in not fasted, as in you know not eating a lot, uh, not eating for a period amount of time. This is fasted as in like he he made firm. This is yeah yeah made firm, uh, quote unquote with his palms with his palms and whatnot. So again we have this dative instrumental thing going on, and this is it. Yeah, this is it. This is yeah, and this is in the plural dative. Well, but acting instrumentally, acting instrumentally. So this is applying the instrumental. So, if you will, yeah, moving on. A fourth example, we have Gefras water, Gefras water, Foltun, Scorsa, Leomom, Inte, Lobum. All right. So he adorned Earth's corners, quote unquote, I mean, you know, in brackets, with 
or through the means of, or what have you, through rays of light and, and leaves and whatnot. So, yeah, that's, he adorned um, the, the earth's corners with, or, you know, or, or the means of, I mean, you could put any preposition, almost any preposition there just to articulate the idea that this is something being used, how to do something, right? So, and uh, rays of light, or this could be translated as like with ra uh, radiance, radiances, if you will. That's it's bad English, but anyway, um, move it on. But uh, yeah, so what is in our instrumental, um, so our, our instrumental, or it's really and dative, if you will. It's uh, low, low boom here, uh, leaves, and leomom. This isn't the dative, well, used instrumentally. Yeah, moving on. As for our fifth example, we have mit, which means with, uh, ubar hugtim. Mit ubar hugtim. So this means with uh, arrogances. Uh, well, it, that's a really weird way to translate this. I mean, this is in the plural dative, but but used instrumentally. This is like through the means of and whatnot. So again, uh, it, this is why the instrumental is so hard to learn or to use. Even uh, I mean, and, and there there are some there are nouns out there that, and uh, usages that, that well yeah there are nouns and adjectives that, that have a dative form, uh, sorry, pardon me, an instrumental form, but but for most of, uh, you know, the, the, the corpus of Old High German, uh, a lot of it merged with, again, merged with the dative. So, like, uh, so, you know, yeah, we may say instrumental, but we're looking at something, you know, on the surface as dative. So that's the tricky part. That's why the instrumental is so hard. But anyway, uh, well, difficult, well, not, well, yeah, but not impossible to learn, though. So with arrogances, I mean, this is like basically the word arrogance, if you will, or, or uh, uh, but in plural dative or, you know, I mean, um, I mean, the, like the literal translation is like saying over mind, over mind and uh, over like, it, it's hard to uh, describe this word. But anyway, so this is like saying uh, with arrogances or um, uh anyway so this is in the plural dative but acting instrumentally so yeah so plural dative but acting instrumentally moving on as for another example we have mundum brutun mundum brutun which is like saying they waved uh with or by hands or whatnot so uh, again, we have this plural dative in this noun here, you know, which means hands. So like they, and, and this is um, um, cognate to bruodon, uh, uh, which is the, yeah. So bruodon, which means like to move, uh, like move uh, back and forth, if you will. That's okay. That's a, I'm butchering the, the definition right there, but, or like to move something back and forth. So it, so in a, essentially you could translate it as like to wave. You know, so like hands are waving or what have you. So in this case, uh, <clears throat> they waved with or by hands or through hands or what have you. But a nice clean translation would be like with hands or yeah or what have you. But again, we have the uh, data plural acting instrumentally. So yeah, um, moving on. Then we have the instrumental with verbs of journeying or and transporting with the notion of in. So, kyolum lidan. Kyolum lidan. So, this is literally, uh, well, I mean, the verb here, lidan, means like to go uh, by water or to go by sea. Um, and this is our instrumental here, really, dative, uh, dative instrumental. Uh, going on here which is like saying oh to go by sea in ships you know to go by you know you, you could say like um this top of my head you know like or to travel by foot you know uh to travel by car you know to use a modern example or to, to travel by horse or by wagon you know so yeah so this is our plural dative but acting instrumentally and this could be in or 
you, you know, and depending on the context, it could be by, but whatnot. So, yeah, moving on. Here is our second example of fadamum, uh, fadamum, ferian. So, this is to ferry, to carry in embracing arms. And this is our word here for embracing arms. So, yeah, and again, this is our dative plural acting uh, instrumentally. So, very straightforward. Yeah, so to carry, to carry. Uh, uh, yeah, to carry in in, in what in, in in embracing arms. So, yeah, moving on. Here's our third example of sindu gesuchta, sindu gesuchta, and he, this is a, this is an interesting uh, sentence that I've translated straight from Old English into um, Old High German. This word sindu, uh, sind, uh, <coughs> pardon me, sindu. Uh, this is actually the instrumental form. So this is not me using the dative here. Uh, this is an instrumental. So which is very nice to know uh, and see. All right. So translation here is that in journey sought. So like, okay. And sought is like an older way of saying, well, it's not an older way. It's actually the past tense of the word to seek. So in the present I seek and past tense I sought. So so how this person sought, uh, he did it in journey. He did it in journey. Uh, uh, journey is his instrument, his means, his manner, if you will, the way he did it. So moving on. Here's our final example with verbs of, uh, of with instrumental with verbs of journey and transporting with the notion of in. We have siu tromum libetun. Siu tromum libetun. So they uh, enjoys lived. So it's like taking like they and they they lived. They lived in what? How did these how did uh, these people of they live? No, they lived in joys. That was their manner, their way of doing things. Um, and so again, we have the, the plural dative, the plural dative uh, being used instrumentally. All right, so let's move on. Next, we have B, uh, the, essentially the instrumental with verbs of speaking to indicate voice or language. And we have our translation here, straight from Old English into Old High German. We have Wortum Quad, Wortum Quad. So in words said. So how, how did this person say, if you will? How did this person speak? or say what he wants to say, he did it in words, He, which is kind of, well, I mean, someone reading this for the first time, well, that's, well, that's kind of redundant. Ah, well, you, you know, that's not really redundant because it's a very poetic way of speaking. You know, you can you can say things through a gesture or through sign language or whatever. But uh, anyway, so our, our instrumental um, here is Wortum, which means words. So he's said in words. Uh, or he said in words, if you will. But uh, the thing is, again, this is our dative used instrumentally, our plural dative. All right, so let's move on. Here is our second example of siu ant swar. Pardon me, siu ant swarotun gagan quitim. Siu ant swarotun gagan 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 quitim. So again, this is may, this may look very strange. Uh, this is a straight translation, even cognate uh, reconstruction, you know, so straight from word for word from Old English into Old High German. So <clears throat> uh, so they answered in replies. So uh, so where is our instrumental, if you will? Our instrumental is in uh, is in Gagan, Gagan Quitin. So that's uh, that is our. Uh, word for uh, replies. Again, this is the plural dative, the plural dative uh, used instrumentally. All right, so moving on. C, essentially the instrumental with past participles, generally. So here we have our past participle of gehoan, 
Gehol one, which is uh, uh, a literal translation from to, to present English, would be like hewed, like meaning like cut. Yeah, insane. so like cut. So this was cut, uh, past participle. Um, so, and how this was cut, uh, if you will, we have our plural dative used instrumental, instrumentally. We got swertum. Swertum is swords. So with swords or through swords, by swords. Um, the main point is, excuse me, the main point is that the swords are being used as an instrument of how, uh, how some, how this is, how this verb is being, uh, actualized, if you will. And like, like how, like the medium, if you will. So it's through the medium, through or by the medium of swords. So this is our in instrumental, but on the surface, it looks dative because, you know, the dative, sorry, the instrumental merge of the dative. Let's move on. Here is our second example of hiltum gesagit. Uh, this here is again, uh, bear in mind, this is a lot of many of these sentences I'm translating straight from Old English, uh, cognate per cognate, even creating cognates, if you will. <laughs> so, um, so you can have a direct, um, you know, acc accordance when you look at the uh, the Old English source that I'm translating from. Anyway, so what we have here is hiltu gesagit, and so with or in conflict, cast it down. So, uh, so, the, so how is this? Uh, so, how uh, is the casting down, if you will, or laying down, if you will? It's well, it's it's done in conflict or with conflict or through conflict. All right. So, this is our instrument. Well, this is our dative posing uh, being utilized for the instrumental hope that makes sense let's move on so here's our third example with tuomu uh, getorot this is a direct this again i know i'm repeating myself this so this uh, reconstruction is again is a uh, straight from old english anyway so the point here is that we got tuomu uh, getor, uh, uh, getorot so we have our past participle here, meaning glorified. Then we have reputation here. Um, tuom can mean a number of things, but in this context, it means glorified. Uh, pardon me, reputation. Cause, well, it also means judgment or choice or selection, depending on the context. But anyway, so the cool thing about this sentence or this little fragment is that this is actually in the instrumental. Yeah, in the instrumental. So, and singular because we're talking about one reputation, right? So... Yeah, so that is our instrumental. That's cool. Let's move on. So, oh, wait, wait, hang on. No. Um, so essentially, uh, glorified in what? In what way? Uh, glorified in re reputation, right? So, yeah, glorified in reputation or glorified by reputation. Glorified, well, in reputation would be the would be a better uh, translation in English, right? So. So glorified in what, through what, by what, reputation. Moving on. D, with adjectives to mean what way, what manner, and the means. So we have the instrumental with adjectives. So we gotta repeat, keep repeating that, again, the instrumental is about the means, the manner, and the material, how something is done. So in this context, so we're kind of describing, above describing uh, how something is done. So. Um, so we have here fedarum uh, roaming. Uh, uh, pardon me, hero, hero uh, mig or hero mig. I think I should. Yeah, right, hold on. Yeah, there we go. Hero mig. So fedarum hero mig. So with or by wings exulting. So it's like, so it's giving us a very, if you will, a very rich and vivid description of what's going on. So um, I should also say that uh, a lot of the instrumental uh, is used in poetry. Uh, you find that with Old English um, and, you, and you also find it in uh, some prose, I believe in Old High German as well. And I don't, uh, uh, and I don't doubt that there, that there's a lot of, that there would be a significant amount of uh, instrumental use in Old High German poetry as well. But uh, yeah, so Fedarom, uh, um, and this is, you know, uh, exulting. This is our adjective, 
this is our plural dative, but used instrumentally. All right, let's move on. Here is a second example of ek kom gekoste. Ek kom gekoste. So this is like saying with edges, by edges, trusty. Um, so so what, again, it's given us this colorful, uh, vivid description. Uh, like, of course, this is an, an, uh, taken from something, uh, taken from a longer uh, uh, sentence, if you will. So it's like, like so through the through the medium through the medium of or by the by the medium of edges uh you know we have trusty in there all right so yeah so so again this given this is and so what is our 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 um our adjective our adjective is gekoste but this is like trusty in terms of like something tried like and tried and true something tried and and proven to work if you will so so we got edges uh, through the means of edges and like trusty of whatnot. So yeah, so you, so don't be surprised when you when you see uh, plural dative next to an adjective and whatnot. So that's just you know the dative or, or really the instrumental uh, being employed, but but given that the instrumental merged with the dative, that the that the, on the surface looks like the dative, but it's used instrumentally. So this is the plural dative, so edges uh, uh, by through edges trusty and whatnot. So yeah, um, again one has to look at the full sentence to you know to get a fuller understanding of the context. But like um, so the point is is that um, that you, you you can see instrumental uh, side by side with um, adjectives and whatnot. So yeah, moving on. Our next example is Mundum Friori. Friori. Yeah, I should hang on. I yeah, put a stress on that. Um, yeah, so Mundum Friori. So uh, again, this is the instrumental being employed, looking like the plural dative. Um, so this is essentially saying in hands or through hands or in hands, freezing, uh, trembling. I mean, this word here, you know, from Old English, you know, created a uh, cognate translation, if you will. Uh, this word here means like the literal meaning is freezing, but in a more figurative sense or like a poetic sense, it means like trembling, so like shaking, if you will, uh, freezing, right? So, so and this is in hands, uh, shaking in hands, right? So this is our plural dative used instrumentally. All right, let's move on. And here's another example of again the plural dative being used instrumentally. So we have suntom uh, wunte, so in sins wounded, you know, wounded in sins or what have you. So yeah, um, so it gives us a very very colorful and rich description of what's going on really. So uh, suntom wunte, so this wunte is our um, is our adjective. And suntom is our dative, or sorry, is our instrumental, uh, but on the surface looks dative. So if you, in other words, describing this would be like saying the plural dative used instrumentally because the instrumental merged with the dative and well, you know, so it's kind of hard to uh, tell, but unless somebody points it out to you, like this video. Anyway, let's move on. Instrumental with prepositions. So, so we're going to start with mit, which is with, uh, with, uh, pardon me, mit, uh, most of the time takes the dative, but also takes the in instrumental, all right? Uh, so that's something to bear in mind. Mit most of the time takes the dative, but also takes the instrumental. Uh, with this ex created example here of mit alu, and alu is actually in the, in the instrumental, so... Yeah, that, that, that's that's uh, cool of itself. So it's like with all or with, you know, uh, again, so you kind of have to like uh, think um, in the back of your mind, okay, this is the ad adjective all, but like, uh, but in, in the context of like it being used, it, it, like in an in, in, in instrument of something, right? So yeah, it, it, you, you, the thing is with the instrumental, you kind of have to... Um, train yourself to think with the instrumental 
because uh, we don't have it in like German or English because uh, well I mean what to say of English I mean I mean English doesn't have the, the case system in general but anyway but yeah so you kind of have to train yourself like okay this is the instrumental that the instrumental is what the means the manner the material the instrument like how something is done right so we have here uh, uh, mit alu so alu is our instrumental uh, our adjective uh, in the instrumental so with all with the means of all or what have you all right so that's something to bear in mind moving on so here's our second example of mit michelu mit michelu sigiu mit michelu sigiu so with by great triumph uh, or this can also be translated as victory as well uh, with uh, by the means or through the means or through yeah through, with the me oh, here we are with with by the means of great uh, of great triumph so this is our our these are in the instrumentals instrumental case in the instrumental case so again um, when we see this we have, to, we have to stop ourselves and think okay so the instrumental again it's the means it's the manner it's the material and the instrument how something is done so this is the instrument all right so yeah you kind of have to train yourself and drill in yourself okay this is the instrumental and whatnot and I, I know i'm repeating myself again and again and again I, it may seem tedious or redundant but it does help to remember this stuff right because this stuff isn't easy and my job with these videos is to help you guys uh understand this stuff so let's move on in this example we have mit diu rotist rotisten gota web view mit diu rot rotisten rotisten gota web view so with the means of or with the yeah with the means of uh the medium of uh, or if you will the the means of okay the means or manner if you will the or instrument if you will uh, red is purple okay i'll explain uh what, what that means in, in a second but uh, but the point is what is in in uh, what is in the instrumental here we have do which is actually or the uh depending on the you know uh, variant um do is actually our instrumental uh definite article so it's like saying the or that depending on the context or yeah it's like saying uh with uh the um so it's like saying with the reddest uh, uh god's web yeah and okay so this may sound very strange and i'll explain what this means so uh, f first off god uh, gota uh, gota web view this is an instrumental as well uh this is in the uh uh in the singular dative Yes, this is in the singular dative in the weak declension. Yeah, so this is dative. Uh, well, well, it's really instru well dative slash instrumental dative used instrumentally. So with the if you the with the means of so with the means of uh, or by or through the or through the means of the reddest. Uh, uh, God's web it was a literal translation. I, I know I wrote purple slash uh, a thread or sil uh, silk. Okay, so the thing is with this time period, because because you have the same thing. Uh, well, of course, this is a translation from Old English. You can say the same about um, uh, you know uh, the time of Old High German or of this period in general. Is that uh, the color of purple was a, was or purple thread or purple silk or cloth or what have you uh, was a sign of great wealth. If like if one was to wear purple clothing, if you will, that meant oh wow, that person's of a high status, and they thought wow, this is incredible, you know, and whatnot. So they really or they associated it with, with something divine. So so in a very uh, colloquial uh, like Germanic expression, if you will, they just called it oh God's web, you know, God's thread, you know, like web being the a very poetic way of saying thread. So. Um, yeah, because you know, this it makes me think of like spinning and and spinsters and like stuff like that and um, 
Yeah, so that, that's kind of cool of itself how like you have this word go to web view, uh, go, or if you will go to web, um, or go to webby, and, and, uh, if you will. But uh, anyway, but the point is that this word is in the instrumental, this is in the uh, dative, uh, singular dative, uh, singular dative, um, but used instrumentally, and here's our uh, definite article in the instrumental. So, cool, cool, cool. All right, so let's move on. Okay, in this part, uh, this is a straight page from Old English. Whether this was attested in Old High German, I don't know, but if you wanted to, uh, you know, um, sound or be similar to Old English, but within Old High German, um, you, you can say "furi, uh, furi hu." Um, so it's like, so it's like saying "for what" or "why," if you will. And um, and so what is in is in the instrumental. Uh, the instrumental is in here. So "huiu," uh, yeah, "huiu," yeah. That uh, in old uh, in Old English, um, uh, "hui." became later our English why like oh why did he do that so but the but going for the back in time and with old English it's like oh like it's like saying for what for why or for what cause really so but uh, uh, we'll see this word later on in, in old high German as well uh, but explained in, in a different way so furi is it uh, is the old high German word for four yeah so um, but yeah it's yeah, so if you want to say f for what, uh, well, I guess you could you could use this, uh, but but uh, this, to if you want to use the instrumental. But I mean, this is a page from Old English, and whatnot. So I mean, to really know you uh, know, uh, you would have to really um, intimately study Old High German text. But one has to bear in mind that uh, that Old English and Old High German have, if you go further back, they pretty much have the same syntax. And whatnot because yeah, because the further back you, you go in time with languages the more similar they were to the point where they were the same language all right so that's something to bear in mind let's move on to go even further uh with mit uh so we have mit do here and this is in the context of when to mean when while after seeing that uh since as or because uh, so mit do a very literal way of uh, of like translating would be like saying with that meaning when while after seeing that since as because or with yeah yeah with that or if you will depend the context with the um, but the examples now I will be using are straight from old high German texts. All right, so it's not just translating from Old English to Old High German just so we can have more Old High German. No, this is straight from the Old High German text. All right, so let's get right into it. Here's our first example. Mit du her was in uh, Bethania or Bethania or, I mean, or it could be pronounced as because this is a, a loan word, right? Because it's you know a translation from the Bible like, uh, like Bethania. But for the sake of uh, you know simplicity, Bedania uh, for for uh, Stuart. So when he was in Bethania, he understood. So this is like saying when, um, and and yes, in this context, it, it does mean when because I because I looked at the you know what came before and after the sent uh, this phrase. But anyway, so it's just saying when, but not like when is in like. When you, if you were to ask someone, so uh, yeah, when did you? Uh, no, no, no. This is like you uh, using when in clauses, like oh, or um, he did this when he was, you know, uh, he did this when he was in, I don't know, such and such a place. So in the same way, we have mit du her uh, was in Bethania um, uh, for a stool. So he was in Bethania. He under when was sorry, pardon me. When he was in. Bes uh, Bethania, he understood. All right. So what is in our? So what's in the data here? Well, it's our buddy Dew. Uh, oh, whoops. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, let's make this red. All right. Well, uh, ah, excuse me. Oh man, this is not my day. <laughs> All right. Cool. I put mit in there. So yeah. So it's like saying when in this context. 
Let's move on. Yeah, well, okay, yeah. Here's another example of inti mit diu her es coronta ni volta trincan. So, and when he tasted of it, I mean, this is the, t the verb here is to taste and it's taken the genitive. Uh, when he tasted of it, he did not want to drink. So the prep, uh, so the personal pronoun is omitted here. So ni uh, volta trinkan. So he did not want to drink. So so our instrumental is here uh, with mit. So point that out there. So yeah. That, so it's a, it, it, uh, knowing this is is pretty convenient. You know when you want to say more. Uh, or express more elaborate sentences or more uh, sophisticated sentences, you use mit du, all right? So, it's, so knowing the instrumental is quite handy in this context. So yeah, so yeah, so inti mit du her es coronta ni volta trincan, excuse me, and when he of, when, well, when he tasted it, when uh, he did not want to drink. Okay, let's move on. So here's another example. We have Trochtine, Gehugi bin, Mit Diu, Du Kumist, In Din Rihi. Lord, think of me when you come in your kingdom. I love this because it's so easy to read and whatnot. It's very straightforward. So we got Trochtine, my, you know, Lord. And then we got Gehugi bin. This is um, the single, uh, singular uh, imperative of uh, Gehugigan. Uh, meaning to, to think of so so to th and it takes the genitive here so to th so so the, whoever is speaking here is like think of me mit diu thu kumist in din rihi so mit uh, diu when you come when you come so this is very convenient so we got a mit diu right here so yeah again so when you understand the mit diu you know your your uh, expression of old high German will will increase. Yeah, and, and sound more sophisticated. Moving on. So another usage of the instrumental, uh, the definite article do instrumental, we have it with the preposition uh, be. So and so be do or be do. Um, uh, we have it could mean therefore because since. All right. So that's how this uh, wor uh, word can be applied. Let's move on. So here's our example of bediu wir iu nales duruch dina spracha gelobenes. So since we yet not at all through your language believe, uh, you know it's a very clunky translation. But anyway, so um, so so we have our bediu here. I'm gonna put that in red. So yeah, this could be translated as you know like since. Or because we yet not at all uh, through your language uh, believe, or therefore, depending on the context, you know, you could say, uh, you know, because thing is, it, it's almost like bidu is almost like saying literally uh, at that or by that. So um, yeah, that's something to bear in mind. So bidu uh, can be used, uh, you know, for, to mean therefore. Uh, since or because and here it's in the context of since so yeah or it, you could replace it with because or or what have you it's just uh you know one has to thoroughly again look at the uh the text itself and then like make a decision which translation applies which word for translation applies best all right let's move on here's another uh tool one can use of untar diu so this means in the meanwhile, um, but again, literally, you can translate this as like under that, uh, yeah, yeah, under that, as in like okay, so under that, this was going on. So in the meanwhile, right? So um, so while that, so we have A is going on, but in the meanwhile, B is this and this and this. So that's another way of uh, expressing that. So anyway, so we have untar du uh, untar du. Uh, batun inan. So in the meanwhile, uh, they uh, they asked him. Uh, the the personal uh, pronoun is omitted. Uh, so uh, so in the meanwhile, they they asked him. So so we got a untor deal. Let's put that in red because we can. And yeah, let's move on. 
another preposition one can use is in. So in the, I mean, I mean, the, the, you know, it's, it's the and the are essentially the same word. It's just, you know, different uh, period and you know, what have you and sound changes or whatnot. Anyway, so we got in the, uh, which is used to mean they're in, they're too, uh, in case that. Um, so uh, just to be uh just to be clear because like words like therein and there too i mean that's like very formal english mm. you know uh so like uh therein is, is like saying in that place uh in that way in that document or in that in in that place uh, whereas there too is like saying uh to that or that place if you will but um and so anyway so and then we got in case that uh so Anyway, so we have here, in the ist war wort. So in case that, uh, you know, in case that, in case that uh, is true word. I mean, this is a word for word translation. And you know, a proper translation is that in case that, uh, you know, the, the, the true word is da 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 da, right? Uh, yeah. So let's put this in red, you know, because we can. Yeah. So in the is war word so in case that um, if you will the word uh, is true da -da 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 -da, or uh, the word uh, the true word is da -da -da -da. yeah so yeah there are many ways to go about this and whatnot so in case that um, uh, the uh, the true word is da -da 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 -da. moving on another example is in the us Usorostun finstarnesu finstarnesu. So, what is going on here in this uh, fragment, if you will? So, we have uh, finstarnesu, uh, finstarnesu. Uh, this is actually the instrumental, so it's like in darkness, if you will, like through darkness, in darkness, or whatnot. So, because the, the, the fragment before uh, this part is actually talking about taking someone outside and so uh, so we have here uh, which means um, well, which means like most um, outside uh, but declined in, in the weak uh, weak masculine uh, accusative singular so 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 it's like saying uh, like most outside place if you will like or yeah outside place in this context but um anyway so so we have in view here uh which is in this context is like you could translate it as like to that like the like because because the whole th sentence is about like sending someone to to that place so and so or um yeah or yeah to that place or in that place um but you know, I mean, depending on the context, you could use therein or there too. But, but since we're saying uh, like to that place, like sending someone to somewhere, um, it would be correct to, to have the trans. Well, I would think the, the correct uh, translation would be there to have there too, meaning to that or, or that place. So, uh, so in it, so because thing is literally uh, in the it's like saying in that. Uh, but hmm, I mean, sometimes I second guess myself. But uh, you know, you you actually can say therein. Yeah, but but the main point is is that like the is is in the instrumental and in, like it's like literally saying in that, and you know, um, you know, it's it's you know, it's like a very uh, small semantic thing that's going on. So like therein meaning in that place, uh, document or respect or um there too meaning to that or 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 that place so 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 and, and so there too would be like saying in sorry uh, to that uh to that us uso uso outside place uh, uh in darkness and whatnot so yeah anyway i mean they're yeah so anyway let's uh Let's move on. So that's in red, and let's move on. Here's another example with in the. So we have here in the non francon uh, verium. So what's going on here? So we have non here. Uh, this is actually, um, 
I don't want I don't want to say spelling error, uh, if like lack of a better term, spelling error, but like it, essentially uh, because. You know, the people writing back then, as do today, people make mistakes and whatnot, or leave out words and things like that, or, or just, you know, so this is in, really in none, but in the text itself, it's, it's uh, none. So, like, it's, in, it's the accusative uh, masculine singular, so it's like, like, meaning him, right? So, in the non francon wherein. So, so in, in case that uh, him, that Frank's, uh, to defend so so to translate this a little more uh, easier to understand would be in case that uh, Frank's to defend him yeah because this is in the accusative right so yeah so in the in this context is used to mean in case that so let's put that in red yeah let's move on here's another preposition and it's sa, sa diu, and this means with the intention, or literally you could translate this as like to that, all right, but meaning with the intention. So we have our sentence here, uh, well, fragment, if you will. So mak hukkan sa diu. So so mak hukkan sa diu. So the translation here, well, that I did is uh, so can well he you know the um uh personal pronoun is uh, omitted here so can he uh, to think of with the intention or or if you will to think of yeah think of with the intention or another way to uh, translate this a little more efficiently would be like saying he can think he can think so he can think with the intention uh, so he can uh with the intention think of all right that's another way of translating but like again a literal translation with of a tsa diu would be like saying uh uh like to that to that you know but with the meaning of with the intention so so uh so so mak hukkan tsa diu so so can he to think of to that that's another a more literal translation but Anyway, so let's make this red because, you know, it's a deal. All right, let's move on. So with this preposition of B, we have be hue. And, and hue, uh, or hue, is actually a contracted form, if you will, of, of, uh, of hue. Uh, hue. But, but, but this is contracted together. We, have, we drop the, uh, the W, and so we have be hue. Behu means why, wherefore, from what cause, and so we have our example here of uh, behu um, ni wirdit uh, diu salba for uh, for co co fit wedar driunt pardon me driunt befeningon. So why, quote unquote, it not becomes uh the the oatment the ointment or that ointment sells against uh 300 pennies all right so this is a very literal translation quite clunky but the point is that uh the hue uh the hue here is meaning why uh from what cause or depend on the context uh wherefore so that's that's the main thing to bear in mind all right, so let's move on. Here we have the preposition with after. So after the, after the, and uh, depending on how it's used, uh, it can mean after that. Well, a literal translation is after that, uh, but used in terms of like time sequence, you know, like one thing after another. Or if you will, uh, it could also mean accordingly, like uh, something that that's uh, you know, there like with consistency, if you will. After that, you know, so after after the after that, if you will. So with our sentence here, uh, after after the you see in an er hiengun. After the you see in an er hiengun. 
so after that they uh, hung him or they him hung you know this is in the um, accusative masculine singular um, this is in the third person uh, past uh, so they hung him well in this context we're talking about you know biblical stuff so they crucified him but the literal translation is that the, the, they a more a more literal translation is like they they hung him so and and here after after the is used um uh used in terms of sequence you know after that da, 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 da. all right so let's move on here we have the preposition of widar and widar means against so widar diu uh, it literally means um, against that or opposite that so um, in this but you can translate it uh, in a more easier way to understand it's like saying by the way or alternatively but by the way in terms of like like an alternative like different approach like oh in this way yeah, um, or in th in that way, if you will. So against that, so this is something that's opposite to what is uh, previously uh, proposed and whatnot. So, um, so widar uh, widar diu, and this is a sentence that I created. So widar widar diu ya or ya. Uh, hang on, I need to make that long. So ya uh, mich hungrit. So by the way, yes, I am hungry. So, uh, so, if, well, a literal way to translate this, like a gangs that, uh, um, a gangs that are contrary to that, you know, that'd be a, a better translation, co contrary uh, to that, um, contrary. Uh, that, that'd be a way of translating that, contrary to that. Um, yeah, so widar um, diu, you know, it can mean by the way, alternatively contrary to that, or in, or in another way, in another way, or alternatively otherwise. You know, yeah, that's yeah, that's another way of uh, nicely translating that. Otherwise, da 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 da, da you know. Um, yeah, depending on the context, though. So, but like I'm, you know, like just just imagine in your head of like of a literal translation of like uh, a literal translation of against that, you know, or opposite that. So, you know, hang on, let me just bring this upward. Yeah, there we go. So against that, contrary to that, or by the way, or. Um, uh, or in, in another way, um, that's that's or yeah. I mean, alternatively, or yeah. So against that, or yeah. I mean, however you want to word it. But the point is, it's it's against against that. Okay, and let's make this red. Uh, so that's we have our instrumental uh, definite article. Uh, we got widar, and uh, yeah, I pretty uh, much uh, overdid this, but let's move on. Adverbial instrumental. So in this context, uh, we're going to talk about instrumental, but used adverbally, um, but this in the context of time. So time when, on this day, on this night, on this year, on this such and such, on this, yeah. So think of time and on this, right? So let's move on. So here's our example from Old High German. Uh, we have heute, it's a modern word. It, it comes from Old High German hiltu, which is actually a contracted form of huiu, huiotagu. Uh, huiotagu, uh, both of these are actually in, in, in the instrumental. So huiu is the instrumental of huas. So uh, yeah, the instrumental. So it's like, like, like if you were to use a preposition, it's like for what? Uh, for what cause, what not. Again, the instrumental is like the means, uh, the manner, like how something is done, like, you know, um, but in the case of like, uh, in the instrumental for a word like class meaning what, uh, like it's it's like saying, well, what means? So it's like why, like manner, like what's the means? Like, you know, like, or yeah, material, manner, and material, material, manner, uh, means an instrument is the instrumental. So, is that and tagu is in the instrumental so let's make this red 
let's make this red. So we got our instrumentals here, instrumentals. So in the context of time, we have, uh, you're more likely to see hiu uh, tu. Um, anyway, so we got uh, hiu tagu, which means on this day. I put an asterisk there because that's an older usage. I mean, who knows? It may not. It may precede uh, the time of old high German, but uh, but I put that asterisk there just for just in case. But who knows? But um, I guess one would have to really intimately uh, look at the old uh, old high German text. Anyway, but then we have hiu which means today. So on this day, or if you will, today, ich uh, singu. I sing. I created the sentence. I'm just using this. So. Anyway, so this is, um, I'll put this all in red, you know, it's, it's the instrumental uh, use adverbally. All right, let's move on. Here's another example uh, with Hoya, and Hoya is a modern word from Old High German uh, Hiru, and that of itself, uh, like the previous word, is actually from a contracted form of Huiu, uh, Yaru, and hui is again the instrumental of huas. So with our made up example here that I wrote, uh, hui um, yaru, so on this year, or hiru, uh, this year, ich, uh, uh, se, se, yeah, pardon me, segalu. So in this year I sail, on this year I sail. Pretty straightforward. So we're gonna make this uh, red because you know these are our instrumentals. You know, so that's something to bear in mind. You know, we want to be consistent. So make this all red. So on this year, this year, right? So let's move right on. Here we have a translation straight from Old English into Old High German. So we have sumo tagu, where these are both in the instrumental. So it's kind of like saying, uh, on this or on the certain or one day, you know, like you would have to see this in action and, you know, to, to understand the context, right? So, so sumo tagu, that's like, um, yeah, depending on this use. Yeah. So it's like on this day, on this one day, on this certain day or on the certain day or on the one day. Um, yeah. So again, uh, you know, the instrumental is how something is done whatnot so yeah moving on so here's another translation straight from old english into old high german so we have the siebenten tagu all right so what's in the instrumental so we have tagu this is in the instrumental so is the this is in instrumental while siebenten the siebenten tagu siebenten is in the dative masculine singular in the weak declension so and this is so all together it's like saying on the seventh day on the seventh day all right so that's in the instrumental this is in the instrumental pretty straightforward moving on here we have and this is there these are both in the instrumental so let's make them both red both red and this is this is like saying on each year on each year uh, yaru, on each year moving on so with this sentence wort stuntu ir huob this is straight from old english into old high german so word at this time slash hour uh, slash now uplifted uh, this is actually in the dative, but you know, as we know, the dative and the instrument, the instrumental uh, merge into the dative. So we had the dative, um, you know, being presented to us, but used instrumentally, but of course instrumentally and ad adverbally. So word at this time, word at this hour, or to this hour, at this hour, uh, now uh, uplifted. So that's. Uh, yeah, so that is that. Um, yeah, so Wort stunt stuntu ir huob. Yeah, moving on. Here we have the instrumental used adverbally, 
but in the context of number of times. So, you know, he did this three times, he did that five times, but here we have uh, so 16 times. So what is in the instrumental here? Well, the instrumental is, well, well, it's actually in the date, well, on the surface, it's the plural dative, but it's used instrumentally and also instrumentally and verbally here. So that, that's something to bear in mind. So um, number of times, suntom, plural dative. Uh, so we have our example here, 16 times. And sex, <laughs> sex, uh, that's, that's a bit of a mouthful already. So 16 times our dative, sorry, our, our instrumental here, but on the surface dative because instrumental merged with instrumental merged with dative. So yeah, pretty straightforward. Moving on. Similar to our on the seventh day example, we have um, you know the and the adverbial uh, instrumental um, expressing the way or the direction. So on the same way or through the same way, through uh, direction or whatnot. So view uh, sama lichen wegu. So what is in the instrumental? Wegu is in the instrumental. Uh, this is in the uh, singular dative masculine. Masculine. Um, and this is in the instrumental. So it's like it's like saying the. So on the same way. Uh, uh, through the same way. You know. So yeah. Because again the instrumental is how something is done. Uh, the means, the material, the manner, and the instrument. So... That's something to bear in mind. Next, we have uh, the use of the instrumental when it comes to deprivation, <clears throat> like lacking something. So verbs of lacking take in the instrumental, right? So we have here meidamum, meidamum, uh, gib, gibi, gibi, gibi tailit, tailit, gibi, gibi tailit. So uh, we have here um, deprived. Um, deprived in treasures. Deprived of what? What by what? Or the, uh, in the manner? In what way is is so and so deprived? Well, deprived in, in treasures. Uh, treasure tr treasures here, and this is in the plural dative, but acting instrumentally. All right. Put that in red. All right. So let's move on. Here here is our second example of er. Ich, ich dem, uh, benam. So he uh, in goods took away. So, you know, so he in goods took away. Yeah. So what is uh, what is in the instrumental? It is uh, ich dem. Ich dem, it means possessions. Um, again, this is the plural dative, but acting instrumentally because, again, the instrumental mixed, mer not mixed, well, merged into the uh, dative. So, moving on. Here we have the instrumental of difference. So the thing is, the instrumental, in a way, it still survives today in present English as like, uh, the more the merrier, right? So, and, so, and, that, and the more the merrier has its origins in the instrumental. So with this example here, um, we have Michelu uh, Langeron, so by great longer. So again, the instrumental is how something is done, what not. So what is in the instrumental here? Well, it's Michelu. Michelu is in the instrumental. Yeah. So yeah, you know, it's um, but you know, by great longer or like great longer. Um, yeah. Again, one needs to. Look at the fuller context, but uh, but this is taking uh, the the uh, fragment in isolation and whatnot. So yeah, you know, like uh, like what is uh, like we have this thing that's longer, but in what way? Uh, longer, you know. Again, the instrumentals, the means, the manner, uh, the material. You know, um, so great. So this is our adjective in the instrumental. Moving on. 
Here is another example of Warun Sie Dio Baldirum. So, they um, were they the boulder or they were the boulder. So, what is in the instrumental here? Well, it's Dio. It's like it's like saying the, but again, it's the means, it's the manner, in what way. Well, they were what the boulder and Baldiron. This is actually agreeing with Sie because uh, this is. Uh, masculine plural so is baldirum it's a masculine plural in the nominative all right so but they you know they were the boulder all right so moving on here we have view tiu tiu so this is more uh the more dearly so this is like taking an adjective and then applying um, a comparative, uh, uh, yeah, putting that into the comparative. So it's like saying, uh, 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 dearly, but dear, but dearly, but more dearly. Yeah. It's not just, yeah. So it's more dearly. Yeah. More dearly. And, uh, and what is in, in the instrumental here? It's the, so again, it's like what I was saying earlier about like, how we say today in English, uh, the more the merrier. This is an example of that. So the more dearly, the more dearly. Yeah, moving on. Finally, we have strangira alem them ergitanem. Yeah, so what's going on here? So stronger, all the previously done. Okay, so how do we unpack this? So the thing is, what's uh, strangira? Um, because this is uh, taken from a longer sentence, this is actually in the uh, nominative. Excuse me, nominative singular. Uh, nominative singular in the in the neuter, because the subject of the sentence is in the neuter. Um, so is this. So um, stronger, um, all uh, them uh, previously done. So again, the instrumental is. How something is done, uh, you know, the means, the manner, and whatnot. So what is in the instrumental in this case? Well, it's all of these right here. So we got alem, uh, them. These are all in the plural dative, but acting instrumentally. So stronger, um, uh, stronger in what way? You know, uh, stronger, you know, um, you know, all all uh, them previously done you know like well that's one way of translating i mean because this er means before uh uh getan uh getan is is a is a past participle and am is a uh, the plural dative so so uh, so stronger in what way uh in what manner um so all uh the previously done so yeah that's pretty much it and that's it for this video thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe if you're new and if you really like the channel please become a patron at my patreon page down below thanks for watching bye bye